Okay, we'll give you a little up close look at this painting. Uh, this painting was done by John Dare Howland, J.D. Howland, Captain Jack Howland, dated 1877. I'll go ahead and attach a bio on, on Howland and a little bit of the provenance on it, but uh, we'll just give you a little bit of a little bit of close-up look of it here. It's a great, great piece. Good piece of Colorado history, a great piece of art in its own right. Howland is a listed artist, exhibited all over the world, highly sought after by collectors. Let me move that over. <clears throat> Ultimately came from the estate of L.C. Rockwell, Lewis Clinton Rockwell, who was one of the delegates of Territory of Colorado who helped uh, write the Colorado Constitution. His signature is at the bottom of the original documents for the state constitution when it was Territorial Colorado and it made statehood in 1876. <clears throat> the oil painting done by John Howland, right here, this buffalo hunt scene, <clears throat> has, been, has not been seen in 145 years. <clears throat> it was, it was uh, uh, what we believe given to Jerome Chafee at the time of Colorado statehood, in 1876 or 1877, uh, Chafee was elected the first United States Senator for the state of Colorado. John Howland had painted this painting, a special series of four in 1877. From his sketches of his time he spent living with the Sioux in the Plains, this painting became property of Jerome Chafee uh, we've got evidence of a really strong relationship between John Howland and Jerome Chafee, as Howland named his first son Chafee Howland. But anyway, the painting becomes property of Jerome Chafee uh, in 1877 and is a treasured piece of his collection. At the time of his death in the early 1880s, <clears throat> his estate was handled by good friend and attorney L.C. Rockwell, pictured there to the side. L.C. Rockwell was a, was a uh, like I say, an important uh, delegate in territorial Colorado um, history. Uh, he, was, he was a prominent attorney known as the go-to guy. He knew more about mining and water law than anybody at, at his time of his uh, 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 relevance there in the 1870s and 1880s. <clears throat> L.C. Rockwell handled the estate of Jerome Chafee and, uh, and upon um, completion of his estate work, he, rather than take payment for his work, he said, I'll, I'll take the, uh, the, uh, the Howland painting. I'll take the, the Howland painting, you know, as payment. So he takes the painting back to uh, what now is Berthoud, Colorado, but the Rockwell Ranch, they homesteaded there in Berthoud. <clears throat> and so he took the painting back to Berthoud. He was kicked in the chest by a mule in the late 1890s and died. <clears throat> this painting was part of his estate and kept, you know, in, in a, as a treasured piece of that, uh, that estate, you know, uh, for the next 140 years, basically under close guard of the family. Um, <clears throat> so it has not been seen. It's never been for sale. Here it is for the auction. Uh, I'll attach the provenance, the story of the provenance. It's a great story, a great piece of history. I'll attach all that information in the description below. Um, and so I'll just, uh, I'll just do some little close-up video of, of the painting here in the original frame. Spotted Tail was a close personal friend. Chief Spotted Tail was a close personal friend of J.D. Howland. He's pictured here on what was J.D. Howland's favorite horse, his his horse that he rode when he served in the Civil War. That horse was lost in quicksand, as is what's written about that horse. But J.D. Howland was known to depict some of his favorite characters and friends uh, repeatedly in his paintings, which was common practice in the time. But uh, anyway, that, that horse was his Civil War horse, and that, that spotted tail sitting on, on top of it. Um, but anyway, you can see here, we'll get a little close-up detail. This painting has been professionally cleaned. The only time it was off of the Rockwell Ranch was in 97. 
it was taken to the University of Colorado to be cleaned and properly cared for. So we'll just kind of give you a good overall. Then it was brought back onto the Rockwell property and kept there until it showed up here. Let's see the signature down here below with the date 1877. Got a little rabbit ducking in a hole there. There's your buffalo. He's gored the horse while he's, you know, the battle between man and beast, as they say. Howland had a had a, a a great insight to how important it was to capture, you know, uh, the Sioux Indians before before that time. He knew that wasn't going to last forever, and, and he knew the buffalo were being hunted out, and he knew that, uh, you know, things were going to change in in, uh, in this country, and and so he wanted to capture a time that wasn't going to last forever. So he had great insight, and he did a fabulous job of capturing the spirit of the Sioux in the buffalo hunt. I love the painting. It's got great Colorado history on its own right as, as an important painting, large painting. It's four foot wide by three foot tall, approximately large painting, but just on its own right, you know, that J.D. Howland work is highly, highly sought after, exhibited all over the world in museums. There, there again, we're going to attach the, uh, the, the provenance, the little history below, but behind the painting below, as well as a bio on Howland himself. <clears throat> Owned by two very, very important pioneers of the state, Lewis Clinton Rockwell and Jerome Chafee. Jerome Chafee was known as the founding father of Denver. And, uh, you know, a phenomenal piece of Colorado history. Anyway, I'll go ahead and attach that information below. Thanks for taking a look. This painting sells. Uh, the auction closes on January 27th. So here's your chance to own a very rare piece of Colorado history. Lot number 1060 in the auction catalog. We'll uh, add a link to that as well in the, in the comments. Thanks for looking.